in this video i explain band break here you see this is the diagram of the band break so this is the break drum this is the shaft on the shaft break drum is mount this is the band weight friction lining this is the operating lever a band break consists of flexible steel band lined with friction material which wrap to a break drum so this is the steel band steel band is wrap on a break drum and this steel band is lined with a friction material so a band break as shown in a figure is called simple band break means in a band break there is a two type one is called simple band break and second one is called differential band break so first we understand the simple band break then after i explain the differential band breaks so in a simple band break one end of the band is attached to the fulcrum o while the another end is attached to the lever b so this band have a two end so one end is attached with the fulcrum o means the lever have a fulcrum points and the band is attached with this fulcrum points and another end of the band is attached in the lever with this point b when upward force p is apply to the lever at the end c so from here we apply the upper force so when we applied the upper force to this lever the lever turns about the fulcrum pin o and tighten the band on the drum and hence the brake are applied so when we apply this upper force here this lever is move means these are inclined so this end of the band is tight and when this band is tight with the drum the brake is applied the friction between the band and the drum provides the braking force so due to this friction the brake is applied so where the friction is produced friction is produced between the band and the brake drum now second type is the differential band brake so here you see this is the simple band brake and here you see this is the differential band brakes why its name is given differentials so in a simple one what happen the fulcrum point of the o is attached with the one end of the band but here the one end of the band is not attached with the fulcrum o so in a differential band brake the end of the band are joined at the a and the b to a lever and the lever is pivoted on fixed pin or a fulcrum o so here in this diagram you see the one end of the band is attached with the point a the other end of the band is attached at the point b this is the fulcrum point c and here we apply the pressure it is called the point c this type of brake is used in civil construction equipments and also in automobile as hand brake the rope brake is an example of band brake so this type of the brake is generally used in civil constructions as well as in automobiles and it is work like as a hand brake so rope brake is also an example of a band brake so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to bme subject or other subject of the mechanical engineering for bme subject various link is provided in descriptions as well as in a car for other subject i request to visit the playlist